Hello people and welcome to my channel once again. It's good to have you around. I just want us to talk. I want to have a talk with my Ghanaian people today. I want to have a talk with everyone living here in Ghana. I want us to talk about COVID-19. COVID-19 has been here for a while now. People have talked about it. The World Health Organization have advised that we follow certain protocols, that is washing our hands, wearing hand sanit uh, using hand sanitizers, and washing our hands with soap and running water, wearing face masks and all that. And then also observing social distance. But it is sad that there are some doubting Thomases in Ghana who do not believe that COVID-19 is here in Ghana. I just want to tell you, it's shocking. The last time I saw a guy who was arrested for going to Facebook uh, Live and even going an extra mile in recording a video of himself advising people that COVID-19 is not real, that COVID-19 is just a hoax, that COVID-19 does not exist in Ghana, but then it was just made up by the government to rig the 2020 elections. Seriously. And I wasn't so surprised because when the first two cases of COVID-19 were, uh, you know, were uh, discovered here in Ghana and it was announced, a very popular figure of the NDC, Mr. Asiedun Ketia, who is a very, very, uh, you know, highly respected person in the NDC, came out and said that the president of Ghana, Nana Dudanko Akufuado, wanted to spend the hundred million dollars that were earmarked for the fight against COVID-19. That they wanted a way to spend that money and that was why they came out to make lies that there was COVID-19 in Ghana. But I was so happy that afterwards, some people of the same party came out to say that he did not speak well and that what he said should be disregarded. But unfortunately, there are still some very stubborn people who still believe in what the man said. They still believe in what he said. And up to now, people still go about thinking that COVID-19 is just a hoax. And they are demanding that the government shows them bodies of people who have died through COVID-19 here in Ghana. They want to also see people critically ill in hospitals of COVID-19 before they believe that the disease is real. They said they want to see how overwhelmed our health, the health systems of Italy, America and China were. They want to see bodies dropping on the streets of Ghana before they believe that COVID-19 is here in Ghana. Well, guess what? I've got news for you. COVID-19 is no respecter of persons. It respects no poor. It respects no rich. Whoever you are, it doesn't respect you. It can get you. The reason why I am worried about this is because if you don't protect yourself and you contract the disease, you may be asymptomatic, so you may not know you have it, but there are the vulnerable people out there. People are out there. People like us who may get it and we don't know how our bodies will react to it. So please, everybody, I'm urging all of you, the, Ga the health minister of Ghana, the health minister of Ghana, Kwekua Jima Menu, was tested, has tested positive and is currently uh, responding to treatment at the University of Ghana Hospital. So if the health minister himself can contract it, how about you and I? No one is safe. The uh, mayor of Sekendita Kradi, he just died a few uh, days ago from COVID-19. After his driver tested positive for COVID-19, his driver is still alive, but he died. He got the virus from his driver, but he died while his driver is still alive. So you don't know who is going to be the next person to get infected. If you think you are strong and able, if you think that your body is strong enough to fight the virus so you are not afraid, you go about your businesses normal, 
you go out without wearing a face mask you don't take it upon yourself to wash your hands or this or disinfect your hands and you think oh i'm tough i'm okay you don't know who the next person you're going to infect is going to be people's lives are at risk if you don't value your life at least value the ones of the vulnerable population the children and the older ones please people of ghana let's take this thing seriously it's killing people it's real doctors have been infected by covid 19 as careful as they they are as 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 knowledgeable as they are about health issues they are the ones advising us to take the safety protocols and yet they themselves are getting infected it means no one is safe the little you do will go a long way to protect someone else. So please, Ghana, let's take this thing seriously. Protect yourself and end up protecting your neighbor. My name is Queen Rahmat. Thanks for watching. And please, if you are the, if this is the first time you're coming here, do like and subscribe to this channel and be sure to come back again for more. Thank you.